as you can see, it fits well the original. Wow, <laughs> that's huge. Basically, you have an Android tablet installed in your car, so you can download apps and everything. Hey guys, as uh, I promised in my previous video, uh, I'm going to show you today how we're going to install an uh, aftermarket stereo in this uh, 2007 Mazda 5. It is going to be a smart radio from Seikan.com with uh, Android operating system. So stay with me to see how I'm installing it and also to make a little review of the actual stereo. So this is the original panel of the car and as you can see it is not designed for uh, aftermarket stereos so you can just buy any stereo and replace it you have to buy the whole fascia and you have to make some adjustments but I actually found an easy solution for to this problem uh, by getting a radio from sercan.com and uh, I'll show you what I got I just briefly opened it to see if actually this is what I wanted but I've never opened it completely so now we're gonna open it together and we're gonna see what I got Okay, so this is the box that the radio came in and this is the name of the company Seikan and before you ask, I'm gonna answer yes, I do have affiliation with Seikan but believe me, my opinions here expressed in this video are gonna be really honest and I'm gonna tell you the honest truth about this radio I already have one of these radios in my car in my Ford and, and I'm really happy with it so that's why I'm I decided to go again with uh, one of these. So here we have the manual. Well, we're gonna go through that later if we need to. But we have the manual and let's see the actual stereo. So as you can see, wow, as you can see it comes with the whole fascia that we need for this specific car. So if you go to the website, you can search by car model and they can give you the specific radio that fits this specific car. So you don't need to buy a separate fascia for this thing. We'll see how it fits, but I'm sure it's gonna fit well because you have the openings here for the original um, uh, AC and heat controls here. And finally, we have a lot of wires here. Adapter wires for this uh, specific radio. So this is so this is what goes in the back of the radio. But then you have all these uh, other wires that will fit your original harness of the car. The cables that you unplug from your original radio are gonna be plugged in into these three connectors, and then this is gonna go to the back of this radio. So let's go in the car and take apart whatever we need to take apart. So I'm going to start by removing the factory radio from here and I'm not going to be very specific about how to remove it and because this video is about the radio, not about the car specifically. If you want to see how to take a Mazda 5 radio out, there's um, a lot of videos on YouTube. So here we have two connections, antenna and one big plug. I can't show it to you, but... Okay. So, old radio out. And now all that we have here is this big connector and the antenna. That's everything. So let's see then why do we have so many connections on the new radio all right so for the new stereo we're gonna take the adapter cable and we're gonna plug it in straight to this and now we have this 
big pin that goes into our new radio like so and we're gonna plug in the antenna now we have few more connectors here which I'm gonna let it hang on the antenna right now so we have here two blue wires that say the same thing amplifier count I guess that's the amplifier trigger because usually the blue wire uh, coming out of the stereo is what triggers the amplifier here I don't think we have an amplifier in this car so we are fine uh, we have a green wire saying brake this needs to be connected to the switch for the e-brake here so this shows the radio that you are parked and you can watch video because otherwise it's not gonna let you watch it's gonna show you gray screen I guess because you're not allowed to watch video while driving so this needs to be connected to the e-brake and then uh, brown one says key 2 this I'm not sure about and uh, red one which says ACC which is for accessories and this needs to be connected to the ignition switch to the uh, wire which is powered when you turn the ignition on but let me see what's gonna happen if I turn the ignition on right now as it is as you can see it fits well the original Wow, <laughs> that's huge. It actually turns on right away. So even without connecting anything else, it will start working, I guess. Let's see. Even in my car, initially it took a little bit of time to start, but then once it is set up, it starts normally. Every time you turn the ignition on, it takes like a very short time to start. So basically you have an Android tablet installed in your car, so you can download apps and everything. I just want to see if the radio is going to work now. So I'm this is the morning grind at six. A second chance to hear some amazing show. Yai 108. Dirty Nail in Tokyo Police Club for CMW. The Nail are on the stage at 9 p.m. Yeah, the TPC so. is going to end the night at 10 p.m., all right? Okay. So, let's see what else do we have to do at the back before we go to the review and stuff like that but I'm amazed that look the panel matches perfectly now it's not pressed all the way in now it is all the way in look the screw holes match perfectly and it fits well here it's a little bit bulky but that gives you a bigger screen so I'm not uh, I'm not worried about that that looks great <laughs> anyways compared to that huh? amazing Anyways, let's see what else is involved, involved in the back. When you turn the ignition on, it turns off automatically, so great. Okay. Let me just check it quickly. What else does it have? So here you also have all the connections explained what does what power supply port RCA auxiliary video port but also it should say it in the manual so uh, I'm not really sure why do I have these here these connectors but it looks like everything works well this looks like it is for some additional antenna this is for uh, external CD player I'm not really sure it says CCD audio video in so I'm not sure what these are for but looks like we don't need them so the main one that we need is the brake and I already run some wires here I'll show you what I run 
The main one is the brake uh, switch for the e-brake and uh, and that's it the e-brake switch so for this I already run a green wire from the e-brake switch so we're gonna hook up this to this green to green and what it is it's basically ground when the e-brake is uh, applied so it gives you ground with the e-brake so we're gonna solder this okay and the other two wires that I run are from my rear view camera I installed a rear view camera at the back that's the video signal and this is uh, 12 volt when the reverse is applied so it is coming all the way from the backup light from the tail lights I just uh, tapped into the wiring for the tail light so I can connect this to the signal for the rear view camera so this is on the other harness so this is another harness that came with the camera with the radio and these are basically outputs from all the speakers and stuff but there's also also one which is the rear view camera uh, it says it here it's one of the yellow ones it says rear camera video in so this is where we plug in our rear view camera and the orange one is the one which says camera power so here is where this wire needs to become live like it needs to sense 12 volt here so it switches the radio to uh, rear view camera mode so So like I said, this black wire is live when we switch to reverse here. Okay, and these are all the wires that I'm going to hook up now. These, like I said, these are outputs for speakers here. Auxiliary video in. So that's if you have auxiliary video player video out too that's if you have a screen for example in the backrest in the headrest of the seat so that's to uh, output signal for them uh, speakers sub out front right out so these are all the speakers and subs and stuff that I don't have subwoofer in this car so I'm not gonna use them I'm not gonna use anything else just gonna plug in this so the main harness this connector here for, for the additional uh, harness the antenna very important I'm gonna plug it at the end because now it's gonna leave with me the not sure if this is the Wi-Fi antenna yeah I think this is the Wi-Fi antenna and these two I'm not sure which one is which let me see what it says here so the closer one to the antenna is 9 which is the Wi-Fi so the closer one to the antenna is the Wi-Fi so this is where the Wi-Fi antenna goes and then we also have the GPS antenna which is very important okay so I run the GPS antenna over here I don't know if you see it oh, it has adhesive uh, tape at the back just tap it there and that goes here in the second connector probably for every radio it's going to be different so that's why uh, you have to follow what it says on the manual or on the sticker on the actual radio it says clearly what goes where and the last thing we want is the two USB extensions I'm gonna I am not sure where I'm gonna install them yet so for now I'm just gonna plug them in 
and I'm gonna let them hang somewhere there on the side and later I'm gonna find a proper place for them but they're just extensions so you can uh, hook up something and there's a third one with a mic input which unfortunately didn't come with this radio I have another I have a microphone so I'm gonna plug it in but I'm not sure why it didn't come with this stereo and then the last thing is a mic like I said for some reason the microphone didn't come with the radio so but I have another one from another stereo that I have so I'm gonna plug this one here into this where it says Mac right but uh, I'm gonna have to run the wire first somewhere right okay so the mic I put it here I'm gonna hide the wire later for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is and now I'm gonna plug it here so this is the additional USB and where it says mic plugging it there and I think with that we are ready to install it so I shouldn't forget the antenna of course that was the last thing that we said so I'm gonna plug in the antenna now Hold up. okay so now everything works and I'm gonna finish assembling everything see if the rear view camera is gonna work not really okay so what happened here is uh, not the orange wire has to sense the 8 the 12 volts from the rear signal the orange wire is what actually sends power to the camera if you want but I already hooked up the, the power to the camera on the tail light so the camera has its own power but in case the camera doesn't have own power then this is the output that goes to the camera if you want the orange one so our 12 volt from the tail light has to go to the purple one which says back car So I move the power from the backup light to the pink one, which says back car, and now I think we are ready to assemble everything. Like I turn it off right now with my finger. Okay, and now when we put reverse, we have our backup camera. So I'm gonna assemble everything now and this concludes our installation part of the video. Okay, so let's see the review now. So now when I so now when I turn the ignition it comes off it comes on very quickly, you see? It is uh, when I turn off the ignition it comes off. When I turn on the ignition it doesn't take all this time to load again. It just loads for a while initially okay so we turn the radio off and uh, basically that's the main screen you have navigation you have all these I'm not gonna go through all the apps and everything but you have Google Maps, Maps obviously and of course you can install all other stuff so navigation, radio music you have to load music of course in it i don't have anything loaded but you can load as a non on a normal tablet you can save files you can load your stuff here and play music from uh, this and videos of course so these are your basically your short shortcuts here then you have bluetooth you can connect your phone let's connect my phone for example so bluetooth i'm gonna try to find car kit I find it as a car kit on my phone requires pin oh the pin number is 40 you can change of course you can change the name of the device you can change the pin number yes the auto connect should be on the auto answer I will leave off so 
and go back so let's do it again pin code zero 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 pair allow contact allow so now my phone is connected and now let's say if I dial let's let me call my voicemail for example welcome to Rogers wireless voicemail please enter your password not gonna enter my password but obviously the phone is connected so that's the normal Bluetooth stuff no idea what is that oh that's when you want to play music through your phone so let's see okay don't want to play too much because this video is monetized so so Iris, it, it even recognizes the songs from the phone stuff like that so what else and we're not gonna go through all the apps but this is something interesting let me so you can go here select different setups like uh, let me play something on the radio uh, we'll do some uh, traffic and weather here one so if we go to the amplifier Hey, maybe we can you want to go on the, the International to... Jazz Safari to Berlin. There's only limited space left. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But 1-800-811-2400. Very quickly, I'll tell you, it's a warm 14 degrees out there. I there's like the rock settings, so I would give it a stroke. But obviously Tonight, you can showers, adjust maybe a thunderstorm. the sound. Temperature going up to 16 degrees in the overnight period. And, and then turn off the radio. The showers and... We will key study. Okay, so that's interesting. So you can go there. If you have set up on your steering wheel okay i'm gonna turn the steering wheel this way so you can see the buttons here so you can uh, reset and you can set up your own so press steering wheel buttons so uh oh so you can do for each button here you can do two settings one for a short click and one for a long click okay so this is how you do it let's say i'm pressing the volume up I come here and this is what I want to be programmed for this button so it is here so I press the volume down and I select this so now I have these two uh, set up let's do the mode uh, mode okay and uh, mute is important so mute is here left okay so these are all the settings that i'm gonna do for now save definition okay so now if i go to radio so now Please write me i can use the steering wheel buttons volume down volume up mode so that was one of the best things that you can still use with this radio you can still use your steering wheel buttons that's that's fantastic and what else of course let's go to settings and set up uh, wireless now so uh, settings we go to network and internet and Wi-Fi and uh, we find the network that we're looking for so I got connected to the limousine center so now it shows me here this symbol shows that I have a wireless connection so now I can use uh, let's say you can access your email you can of course you can go to Google and uh, Google whatever you want for example let me see say can dot com and you're at the Seikan website so you can go and buy your electronics what else does it have? it has YouTube, you can go and watch your videos of course your e needs to be applied so you can watch videos so go and search Elin Yakov or there you go and you can find all my videos here if you want to watch some of my other videos where I restore cars
very nice resolution huh? and, and a pretty big screen. I'm really enjoying it. Anyways. And at some point we're gonna have to do, there's a hole here. So you can watch videos and stuff and do whatever you wanna do. And what else? You have Spotify, Netflix even. Uh, TPMS, this is if you have sensors, but you have to buy additional sensors for your tires so you can uh, control the pressure the pressure in your tires. Of course, the best option is that you can go and download. For example, there's an app that I like a lot. It's called uh, Waze. And I love that app, so we're gonna go and find it. Google Play, sign in. Okay, so I'm signed in and now we are in Google Play and right away it offers me this app called Waze. I don't know if you guys use it. I use it all the time as a navigation because it is uh, fantastic. So anyway, that's another thing. So obviously you can download all kinds of apps here, Facebook and everything that you could use on your phone or, or on your tablet. So that's fantastic. Uh, what else? iPod, of course, you can connect your iPhone to one of these USBs here. I don't have a cable, so I can't connect it right now, but you can connect your iPhone, of course, and uh, download all kinds of stuff. So it's, like I said many times already, it's a tablet that you install on your dash. And it has all the cool stuff that you can do on your tablet and on your iPhone. 4G module, so with an external 4G module, which, which has USB dongle function as well, you can insert a SIM card and connect to 4G internet. So if you want to connect a SIM card, you need to buy, again from Seikan, you have to buy the 4G module, which you plug into one to the, of the USBs, and then you have uh, access to a 4G network while driving. But what I do, normally what I do while I'm driving, go to settings, personal hotspot, and when I turn my hotspot on, I go to settings here, networks and internet, someone's calling, let's see if it is going to work. Hello. Hey. Hey, how do you hear me? I hear you just fine. Just fine, that's great, because you're in video right now. And you called in the right time to test this function of the radio. <laughs> so where were we? At least we tested that part of the uh, radio. It works fantastic. She was hearing me well, I was hearing her well. So, so I guess, guys, this is everything. It, I really enjoy it, and like I said, I have affiliation with this uh, company, with uh, Seikan, but my opinion about this stereo and uh, the one that I have in my Ford is that they are really, really nice devices. I would really recommend them, so if you want to uh, upgrade your stereo in uh, your car, this is a very good choice. Just go to Seikan, find your car and model, and they're gonna send you the radio with the fascia. That's the best part. You don't need to buy fascia, you don't need to buy the harnesses separately. They're gonna send you the radio with the fascia and with the harness that is designed specifically for your car. Of course, it, if your car is not uh, something really fancy that is not too popular, but for but the most popular makes and models they have the harnesses and everything so that's that's great because you see you just plug and play the only wires that you need to solder are the backup camera and uh, what else what else did i solder there the backup camera and the signal from the e-brake these are the only two wires i think that i soldered there and everything works as it should be so uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the website. If you go through this link and use the promo code Rusty Beauties as you see it on your screen, uh, you can use a 3.5% discount. I'm just going to show you here real quick on the website. So there are regular uh, uh, DVD players and there are Android car DVD players. So let's say Android, they are divided by uh, car makes. You can see there is BMW, Chevrolet, Kia, Suzuki. So let's say for uh, 
Mazda, this is how I found this one. So if we go Mazda, and we have different models here, like for 2009 to 2012, Mazda 3, Mazda 6, uh, what is that? 2003, 2008, old Mazda 6, and this is the one, I guess. 2005 2010 Mazda 5 so that's it so thanks for watching guys and have fun